Today is Juneteenth, commemorating the end of slavery in the United States. Congress made Juneteenth an official federal holiday back in 2021. And to learn more about the day and the history of it, our Sam Carter is live this morning at Roots 101 African American Museum. Hey, Sam. Yeah, Carrie, just an incredible place. I'd never been here before today, but I encourage everyone, Roots 101, right down, kind of next door-ish to Yum Center. It's really a terrific place. And the guy responsible for much of this is Lamont Collins. He's the founder and CEO of this place. Lamont, we are in a really, really cool portion of your space. This is mm -hmm. called the Great Equalizer. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what we're seeing here, because this is really well, neat. When we talk about Juneteenth, we talk about the opportunity to be free, and we got to be free. What do we accomplish? And one great thing about sports, sports was a great equalizer for black people, especially yeah. black men. And this corner kind of plays tribute to the opportunities that we had and the opportunities that the athletes took advantage of. And this corner celebrates a lot of Kentucky Trailblazers. Oh, it's no doubt. Um, I want to take a walk across here All with right, you because cool. I want you to take a special moment and kind of single out some of the men on this wall. Well, here. I tell you what makes this tower, I'll call it, so great. These are the color barriers or the color, color barrier breakers in the state of Kentucky. At the top for basketball, you had Wade Houston, Ed Whitfield, Whitehead. You had Sam Smith. These three gentlemen broke the four gentlemen broke the color barrier in Louisville basketball, and I had them at the museum, and we did a tribute to them in person. Two of them are still living, which is Wade Houston and Eddie Whitehead still live lives in California. The second part are the Trailblazers of the SEC football. The, the four of us. These are the four black gentlemen that broke the color barrier of SEC football for University of Kentucky. Oh, I thought it was just Kentucky. It's all of SEC football. Well, just Kentucky. Okay. Cut the color barrier for Kentucky. Greg Page, Nate Northern, Wilbur Hackett, and Houston Hogg. But the tragedy to Greg Page was is that he died on the football field. Mm. He died at practice, and to this day they don't know who hit him in the drill or whatever, but he died. And it made a big difference to all the players that were still living. And today they still have a, tra uh, a trauma moment dealing with that that happened on their football field. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and then over here, and that's yeah, the that's actual replica of the actual trophies at University of Kentucky. Now right talk here. to me about this cage, because this is, this is local. Yes, this is, well, not local, but he's, he's from Kentucky. Eminence, I think he's from. That is uh, Jim Green. Jim Green was the fastest man in the world. He ran against O.J. Simpson. There's a picture right there where he's beating O.J. If you look at the iconic picture where uh, Tommy Smith, John Collins are raising their fists during the Olympics of 1968, sure. yeah. the trial, uh, Jim Green was part of that trial. He would have been running, but he had a bad ankle injury before that. But he was the first black athlete to graduate from the University of Kentucky, and they named the Sports Coliseum or the Track and Field, the Jim Green Track and Field Center, and the SEC. You know, one of the things about this museum, thank you for that, that was really, <laughs> really cool. One of the things about this museum is it kind of teaches, or the message to me anyway, is that we can all do better every single day. That's is right. that part of what you try and impart on people yeah. here at the museum? Yes, yes. When you go to the museum, uh, you know, there was a song started from the bottom and we're here. Yeah. I think kids say that. Yeah. I'm an old man saying it. But <laughs> no, you're not. You, you actually see how we have, have moved each generation to a new level. And you also see the history of young people part of that fight. You know, we talk about the Pettus Bridge March. Sure. That was a young people's march. Bloody Sunday was full of 14 and 15 year olds on that bridge, showing you how even kids can make a difference. And that's why I try to instill at this museum that young people are our future. So if we can create better ancestors, I need to start with creating better young people. Well, I'm not going to beat that. So I'm just going to send it right back to you, Carrie. A lot more to come here from Roots 101 a little bit later. Going to kind of wrap things up on the day as we honor Juneteenth. Wonderful, Sam. Thank you so much. And if you can visit Roots 101, we encourage you to do that. Coming up, Baptist Health Floyd opens the doors to its new...